Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a haul. I went recently on vacation to Las Vegas in California and I went and did a little bit of shopping. I feel like I didn't do as much shopping as I normally do when we go on vacation. I ended up getting, I feel like, more clothing pieces this time than I normally do. I am going to have two different hauls, one for the clothing and one for the beauty. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started right now and get into all the makeup goodies and it's a little all over the place I have tons of stuff in these two Sephora bags I have some things in another bag so I'm just gonna randomly just start pulling things out and I'll let you know where I got everything from one of the places that uh, we went to was actually Lush I had never been to Lush I've always wanted to go so it was pretty exciting um, <laughs> now my stuff actually got a little bit destroyed in my suitcase I have them in these little baggies we ended up getting two of the bath bombs, I believe is what they're called, and then two bubble bars. I actually had my kids with me, and I let them pick a couple of things, and we did use one of the bubble bars. We just broke it when we were on vacation, and it was pretty cool. The kids really enjoyed it. I got a little sample from there, too. It's called Vanishing Cream. From what I was told, it's a moisturizer. So I just got a little sample. I wanted to try it out because it was actually pretty expensive. It was like $45 and the thing was only like this big. But I did end up getting the Tea Tree Water Water Toner. I had heard so many, so many, so many people talk about this and I was excited to try it. I've already used it a couple of times. I really, really like it. So that's what I got from Lush. Okay, let's see. I have some other things in front of me right here. These are from Marshalls. So I ended up picking up some cucumber eye pads. They look like this. They were only $3.99 and you actually get 10 pairs. I'm all about like eye masks and just any kind of facial masks. So I thought these would be pretty cool. I also, let's see, I think this one was also from Marshalls. It's called Baby, Silk, <laughs> Baby Silky Foot One Shot peeling. I don't know, that doesn't make sense to me. But anyways, it's supposed to be, I guess, like a peeling thing for your feet. I have really dry, rough feet, so I thought this would be pretty cool. And you get the little directions in the back. They are in either Japanese or Chinese, I'm not really sure. But, you know, it shows you with the picture, so I figured I can figure that out. I think this was around $5. And this little thing, I already opened it. I got it at Marshall's as well. Oop. It's just like a little, if I can get it open, it's a little cheap. <laughs> it's just a little face razor thing. I actually used it for my unibrow and like my upper lip area. It works really nice. It came with a battery. Sounds like that. It's cute. It's just this really cute like Tiffany blue with pink hearts. And then it came with this little attachment as well. I probably won't use this though. I think this was around $6.99. And I've used this a few times already and I really actually like it. So I got these makeup wipes from Daiso. If you haven't heard of Daiso, I believe it's a Japanese store. Um, I'm always seeing people do hauls and things like that and I was actually really excited when I was at the Ontario Mills Mall in California because I had no idea they had one there and I was planning on Googling to see where the store was and to my surprise there was one in the mall so I went in and I found these little makeup wipes I've used them a few times they're not the best but they're not the worst I think I paid like a dollar fifty I've already used them you get 35 sheets and these actually they smell like almost like citrus and like a facial cleanser kind of just like clean and fresh it's a little hard to describe but I like the scent they don't irritate my sensitive skin so those were pretty nice um, I would probably repurchase them just for like everyday simple removing of my makeup not for my eye makeup for sure because it's not the best or just for swatches because a dollar fifty you know you get 35 that's not bad at all and I did enjoy them so another thing I got from Daiso were these eyelashes. I actually picked up three different eyelashes. Um, I gave one to my I gave one to my younger sister 
and my other pair just magically disappeared when I was unpacking everything they didn't show up so I was a little bummed because they were different than these and I was excited to try them but this is the pair that came home with me and I can't wait to try them they were also like a dollar fifty more thing from Daiso I found this eyebrow pencil and it looked really interesting the spoolie is a little thick looking it kind of looks a little bit rough see I got mine I wonder if there's in dark brown they had like two other shades I believe so I'm really interested to see how this works if it's smooth if it's rough if it even works it was about a dollar fifty I think almost everything in there makeup wise was around a dollar fifty two dollars um let's see and the tip looks like the Anastasia brow definer because it's got that like triangle shape if you can see up here so I'm excited to give this a try I might actually end up doing maybe like a first impression with these two another place I went to was Ulta I love Ulta and I ended up getting the little birthday gift it's just a full-size Urban Decay eyeshadow this is so freaking gorgeous I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it oh, it's so beautiful you can even use that as a highlight so that was pretty cool it's called Midnight Cowboy this is actually my first individual Urban Decay eyeshadow and it's so cute with the purple packaging super adorable I thought that was a cute gift I actually ended up buying two of these Tony Moly uh, I am real tea tree mask sheet skin soothing I've already tried one it was it was okay it was a little sticky um, it was definitely hydrating I used it when I was over there on vacation because my skin was acting up the weather was really hot over there and my skin actually for some reason ended up getting super super dry and it with the flying and just so much traveling my skin did not react very well so I wanted to try one of these it's not my favorite it was super affordable it was like under four dollars I have another one I will end up using this but I won't be repurchasing that's for sure because it was not my favorite it was a little sticky so that's that okay so I ended up picking up another Clinique dramatically different uh, moisturizing lotion this is my favorite I took my traveling one with me because I was out of my full size so I definitely had to pick up another full size this is my holy grail moisturizer I haven't found anything that works as good as this for my dry skin so if you guys have any recommendations for moisturizers that are great for dry skin leave them down below also from Ulta I ended up picking two more Kate Moss lipsticks I actually own quite a few of the nude ones already I was hoping to pick them all up but a whole bunch of them were missing and a couple of them look like somebody took a bite out of them so I don't know if like they took their kids and they like stuck their finger or like actually bit it but I ended up picking up the shade 46 it's a very warm tone color I'm gonna swatch it I love these lipsticks they are so creamy and pigmented it's a beautiful shade I, I can definitely see myself using this a lot and then from the 15th anniversary collection there I want to say there's six of these I'm not 100% sure I also really wanted to pick them all up but a few were missing and a lot of them look like the other ones like if somebody took a bite or like a, stuck their finger in it so that was really horrible um, I got a really bright red one this one's in the shade 51 muse red and I haven't really purchased too many red lipsticks recently and I thought that was just a very beautiful orangey bright red color and I can totally see myself using this a lot so I actually have this little sample uh, I was staying at a friend's house when we were in Las Vegas and she gave me this lush sample of the cup of coffee mask oh, this smells so good oh, just smelling it right now like it makes me so happy oh. if you haven't tried it and you're into coffee and you like to exfoliate your skin like check this out I really really love it I used it once when I was down there and I really enjoyed it so before we actually left on our vacation uh, the airport's actually four hours away from us and we had a little bit of time before we got to the airport we 
went to TJ Maxx and I was hoping and crossing my fingers that I would get lucky enough to find the Kat Von D blushes that were out and about. You know, every, they were popping up everywhere and I did. I got two. I was so stoked because I was like, oh, I'm never going to find anything. I'm never lucky enough to find any of this stuff. And they were only $6.99 each. I found two shades. There was actually a couple and they were only, they were in the shade... Sid and Nancy, which is this one right here, but then I started to look around and I'm like, there has to be another shade, like, there's, there was like a good 15 of these, and then I just started looking around to see what else I could find, and then I ended up finding this really beautiful peachy one, it's called, mm, it's called Mikey and Mallory, I believe, I can't tell if it's a, a K or an H. But I think it says Mikey. This one's definitely more peachy and this one's more pinky. I have not opened these. I have not swatched them. So I'm going to go ahead and try to open them up. I actually tried to open them the other day but I did not want to rip the packaging. So let's see. The struggles, right? You want to keep the packaging so beautiful. But sometimes you just can't. Let's see. I'm use my scissors. There we go. Ooh, that's cute. It comes with a little insert. Some info on the back. That's cute. Very nice. Ooh. There's no funny smell. So this one is the Mikey and Mallory one. I'm going to go ahead and swatch both of them. They feel a little rough. Like they're not as silky as some of her other stuff. It almost feels like I'm not getting anything, but let's check it out and see. Ooh, they are very pigmented for sure. Right over here. A little powdery, but that's okay. I can work with that. Really, really love this. I'm going to go ahead and swatch the other one. Just got to go back and forth a few times. I almost feel like nothing's coming off, but... As you can see, it's it's definitely there. Let's swatch it up here. And these are actually powdery just like the other ones. But the shades are so pretty. Probably one of my favorite finds, definitely. So when I was down there, I took my Wet n Wild setting spray with me and I ended up finishing it when I was out there. So I wanted another spray because I was still going to be there a couple of days and my skin was just all over the place. It was super, super dry and I needed to get a mist. So um, I actually bought one at Ulta and I ended up returning it because it was $16.99 and I didn't really want to spend that. And there was a store next to Ulta. It was called like G Stage or something. It's kind of a fashion store and it carries... A lot of like LA Girl and LA Colors and stuff like that NYX. But I ended up finding this Giovanni USA Vitamin Hydrating Mist. This was only $3.99 and I'm getting 2.45 ounces. I've used this a couple of times. It's really nice. I'm going to go ahead and spray right now. It almost smells like, I want to say the Pantene or Tresemme hairspray. But it smells fresh, like it doesn't smell nasty, it's not sticky, it hydrates my skin, makes me look a little dewy, which I love. And for $3.99, I was like, that's perfect, I didn't want to spend the $16.99, when I have so many sprays here at home, so that's the reason I ended up returning the other one. Another place I went to was Walgreens, and if you've been following me on Instagram or on Snapchat, you know that I am a collector of the... Um, like Elf and the Walgreens limited edition beauty books. I was on the hunt for this Barbie one. I didn't even know it was out until like a few days before we left on vacation. This is what the inside looks like. You know, it totally looks like Barbie kids makeup, but I collect these. I have quite a few out of everything in my makeup collection like these I actually collect <laughs> I know it's a little bit silly I use some of them I don't use them all but like oh, I just love it it was 
I wanted to get the makeup brushes too, but I didn't end up getting them. They were like $10 and almost $13. They had two different sets, and I'm like, no, I'm just going to do the beauty book. So beautiful. I found it at Walgreens. It took three Walgreens. My poor husband had to drive all over town when we are in California, but I found it, so I was super stoked. So another place that we went to was actually Ross, and <laughs> so... I don't know technically what these little things are called, these little puff balls, but I know they go on your purse. When we were coming home, <laughs> I needed to get one of those guys at the airport um, push me on the wheelchair because my body just was not liking traveling whatsoever and I needed some help. So he ended up putting my purse, my Betsy Johnson purse, behind. Um, on the handle and it was rubbing against the wheel. I didn't even know until we got into our car and it made a hole in my purse and I was so upset because that was like my first Betsy Johnson purse and I loved it. My daughter always <laughs> sees these at the store and she's like obsessed with me trying to buy them. I was not for it whatsoever but I saw it. This is like almost the same color as my purse and it has this really cute attachment the keychain part and then the little loop where you put this on your purse this was only $5.99 and I'm gonna actually show you on my purse this is my bag it even has the gold detailing but it's still stained from the tire and the hole is like right down here and since here we go so I figured it would like cover up the hole. <laughs> That's really the main reason I got it. And then I figured, oh, well, my daughter would be super excited that I finally got one of those. She had been wanting me to buy one for the longest time. Um, and that's really the main reason I bought it. We ended up spending the night in the city <laughs> where the airport is. So we did shopping in the morning and that's when I bought it. But, you know, that's a big old long story just to tell you why I bought that little puff ball. Anyways, some more stuff from Ross. I found these brushes. These were $6.99. Now, oh my god, they had like brush sets of Eco Tools and Real Techniques, super affordable. But for some reason, these were like calling my name. Especially the center one, like oh, I want to use it for highlights so bad. Now these were already, these were a little bit open, so I ended up popping them open in the store just so I can feel them. They're super soft. They almost feel like the Real Technique brushes. They're just all black, but seriously, like this one, I want to use it for highlight. And this one, I probably will use it for bronzer, maybe some powder. And this little one, it's just really tiny. I'll probably use it for like my inner tear duct or something, maybe my brow bone. And once again, these were from Ross. They were only $6.99. I'm getting that. And then I also found this face and body treatment system. This was $8.99. I actually already put batteries in it. I haven't used it. But you get like a nail buffer, the cleansing buffing sponge, the exfoliating one, and a rolling massager. Oh, and the pumice stone as well. So, that was really cute. I actually found a green one that just came with two of the exfoliating heads. I gave one away at my baby shower as a prize. And then I ended up giving one to my younger sister as well. My sister had been wanting, like, one of these facial cleanser things. And when I saw it, I thought that was pretty cool. And then I ended up testing hers out when we were out there. And I was like, I need one in my life and the Ross out in California didn't have them anymore. So I was really excited to find these when we got back to Montana. Another place I went to was the Dollar Tree. I didn't get too much, too many beauty related things. I got a lot of stuff for my daughter for back to school and like storage container stuff, but I picked up another one of these contour brushes from Wet n Wild because I'm gonna put this in a giveaway. And then some chapstick, I already took one out, <laughs> just the, Chap Eyes Lip Balm. It has SPF 15. Nothing fancy. Just needed some. The last store that 
I'm going to mention is Sephora. Of course, how can I not mention Sephora? It's one of my favorite stores. Now, the little section when you're getting ready to check out, I totally got suckered into it. I ended up getting some minis from Benefit. I got the Dandelion blush. Like, how freaking adorable is this teeny tiny brush? I'm always hearing people talk about this blush, and I'm super excited to try it out. I think this was like $15. A little expensive for a mini, but I think most of the minis tend to be like that. I also got this Stila One Step Corrector. Uh, let's see. Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Serum. I believe this is a primer. I see um, Shannon XO, if I'm not mistaken, use this all the time to help with the redness on her skin. And I wanted to give it a try because I tend to have a lot of redness in this area. I also ended up purchasing the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. I've used it a few times to clean my Real Technique sponge. And it's awesome. Like, I could not believe how amazing this was. Comes with this little rubber thing. Like, the smell. It smells like eucalyptus and just like a fresh bar of soap. And I did not expect this to do anything, any, at least anything special or different when it came to cleaning because I was like, oh, maybe it's just a bar of soap that they shoved in there. No, this is magic. I don't know what they put in here, but it's magic. It has. I have never found anything that cleans my makeup sponge the way this did. And I think this was like $16, maybe $17. Oh, I will totally repurchase this. And I can't wait to try it on some of my harder to clean makeup brushes because I only did it with the beauty sponge. I only have one more beauty product. I got the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I'm actually wearing it today. I don't really know how I feel about it. I swatched this on my hand when I was in Sephora and I walked around and I also swatched the Urban Decay one and the Kat Von D one and I really liked the way this one was looking on my hand but I don't know, <laughs> I really don't know how to feel about it on my face. I put it under my eyes, I did a little bit um, on my chin, my cupid's bow and my forehead just to kind of do a little bit of brightening, the highlighting kind of an effect but I don't know. It's very hydrating for sure. This eye ended up creasing just a little bit. The smell. I don't know how to describe this smell. Like, it's something that, it's like in the tip of my head, like, I don't know. I don't not like the smell, but I don't love it. The sponge is really, or the applicator is really nice. It's very easy to, it just kind of like glides on on your skin. I ended up picking up the shade light. And after I applied this, I actually got a little bit irritated in this area. But once I started to blend it away, the feeling went away. It just kind of stung a little bit. So I'm not sure how much I really love this yet. I've only tried it this one time. I'm going to keep trying it. I'll keep you guys updated probably on like Snapchat or something. Maybe Instagram. So make sure you guys are following me. But that's pretty much all of the beauty stuff. And my sister she likes to paint and draw. So when I was down there as my birthday gift she made me these cute little canvases with lipsticks. And I thought they were so beautiful. I'm going to definitely hang these around my vanity. And I just, I think this is one of my favorite birthday gifts that I received this year. Because it was so sweet and thoughtful of her to paint some lipsticks for me. Alright. I think that's everything, guys. Um, keep an eye out. I'm going to be having a clothing haul after this as well as two lip swatch videos that are going to be coming up. I did end up receiving a box from Influencer when I got home 
and I received some of these Makeup Forever lipsticks and I want to put these on my lips and totally swatch them for you guys so you guys can check them out, see what they look like. I also am going to be doing the lip swatch video of all of the shades that I have from the Rimmel Nudes uh, by Kate Moss because now I have, let's see, now I have six lipsticks total and I think that's a decent amount and I really want to do that lip swatch video for you guys so just keep an eye out um, I'm so sorry it's been two weeks you know since I did a video I've just been dealing with so much in my pregnancy and then going on vacation we were gone for like 11 to 12 days I believe so it's been a while but I'm gonna get some videos up for you guys I hope you enjoyed this haul let me know if there's anything that you want to see an actual in-depth review or maybe a first impressions anything like that if you want to see me use the products and just go ahead and make sure you guys are following me on Instagram and snapchat I'm always on there I hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye